This is your Strong Glow prenatal bar workout, full body, that's going to give you a great burn in a low impact way. I am currently pregnant right now, so for all my pregnant mamas, this is perfect for you. And if you're not, this is still gonna be a great low impact workout. And this is a part of the entire Bar and Pilates prenatal plan that guides you week by week inside of my Bar Definition app, which you can learn more about with the link down below. I'm Action Jacqueline, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to my channel so I can keep bringing workouts like this to you. So let's get started with the workout. Okay, so our first move is going to be a little fourth position, like a curtsy, up into our passe, back down to our curtsy, to a side leg lift, okay? So here and up, here and side. All right, so I'm gonna be keeping time for us. We're gonna be doing 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. All right, so let's go ahead and begin. Plie, passe, fourth, and reach. Good, so this is gonna be a really good, low impact way to get the heart rate up while toning and sculpting your body. Good, here, side, here, up, here, inside, good. Already starting to feel that heart rate come up in that first exercise. So the leg doesn't have to go super high, you can kick low, whatever you can do. Good, three, two, one, and rest. So just holding the arms up in that position is quite a lot especially with all this weight pulling us forward. So keep the shoulders back. Keep that frame nice and wide. Let's go to the other side. Little plie, passe. Plie, extend side. Plie, up, plie, and up. So the plie is just a little tiny curtsy lunge behind us. That's it, and reach. I'm just going onto the ball of my toe. The main thing is I want you standing and plieing on the standing leg. Good. Plie. Up. Plie. And side. Plie. Up. Plie. And finish it out. Good. Okay, we're gonna come into our Second position here. We're gonna reach the arms out nice and wide. And we're going to take over under with the arms just like this as we go down and come up. Good, down, up. shoulders work. I definitely do. Feel the legs work. Feel that back work. And you're still hugging right here, so make sure you're not just kind of hanging out here with that belly. You've got a nice engagement going on there. Over, under, over, under. Good. Whew. Arms are definitely tired. All right, we're gonna come into our first position. We're gonna do a plie, and then rise up tall into those toes, and come down. So really good for your balance, really good for getting all that circulation in your ankles, because we get, or I get really swollen in my ankles, for sure. So anytime I do releves like this, it really helps to draw the blood up Get everything moving and going. Good. Reach. And you guys know I have all of my tips in my in this prenatal program. I have so many tips about compression, how to get the swelling down in the program, in the guides. So you are well equipped for everything. Hopefully you guys are checking that out. Whew. All right. Second position, same thing. We're gonna go second and up. Good. 
So those arms are getting a lot, right? I'm definitely feeling my shoulders. And I want you to feel that expansion through the chest. Good. Reach and up. Reach and up. Reach. Up. You're doing good. I love these total body workouts. I just really just kind of let go. Helps you let go of all that tension. Gets everything moving, flowing. Good. Reach and up. And reach. All right. So we're going to take a lunge back here. And then we're going to pull that knee up. Try to do a little circle underneath the leg. And then we're gonna do a side lunge. Same thing, knee comes up. Just alternating right there. So back, up, side, up. Good job. Back, Whew. Working on that balance. Working on that core right here. Exhale, pull everything in. Oh my gosh, my balance. You just have to laugh, right? Side and up. Good. Down and up. I think she definitely had a little growth spurt. All of a sudden, I feel like, oh my gosh, my belly is huge. But to other women, they're like, oh, you're still so small who've had kids. I'm like, I feel huge <laughs> because. I, I feel huge, it's like so big. But all of a sudden, I feel like this last week, she definitely got a lot bigger. So I notice in my workouts, right, obviously it's gonna feel different because you're changing size, which is pretty cool. I've heard that, you know, working out for your pregnancy is like the equivalent of athletes working out, right, normally because you're adding all this weight, adding all this blood volume. So that at least makes me feel, feel good, right? And strong. Whew. Keep going. So that is why it's important to show up every day so you can kind of rebalance your body. Figure out where you are today. Okay, I'm gonna grab a chair. So, we're gonna take a little fourth position here like we did before, fourth position. And we're just gonna lift up right there, just like that. Here, fourth, two, arabesque. So I'm pitching my chest forward a little bit. There we go. Fourth, and up. Fourth, and up. Good. Let that heart rate come up, reach. Feel that nice long stretch happening there as well. This is really good, right? To extend through the whole body right here, reach. Whew. Okay, so we're gonna stay here on this right side. You're gonna lift, you're staying in this fourth position. Lift up onto those toes, bend the knees, and we're gonna take little pulses right here in fourth. Really work up those thighs a lot right here. So you wanna keep your heels high, try not to let them kind of press down. Push them out. Good, so we're working our ankles, our toes. Oh yeah. And of course those thighs. Sit up nice and tall through your body, feel that tall, regal feeling all the way to the top of your head. I feel like you have a crown on the top of your head. Good. And pulse, pulse, pulse. Woo. Starting to burn for sure. Good, four, three, two, one. Okay, other side. So we're gonna do those two exercises, same thing here. 
take a breather when you can. And let's get set up. So I'm just leaning back kind of like onto my toe there and reach. Good. Feel that nice long stretch happening from your toes to your fingertips. I think the challenge here is to just still feel graceful, right? You might start to feel kind of heavy. You feel a little weighed down. But your challenge is to see, okay, how can I lift up out of that? How can I still feel really tall and proud? That is gonna really help your posture. Posture through pregnancy is really important. So that's my goal with all these workouts, is to make you feel just so good in your body, right? Whew. Even with all of these changes and everything. And bring harmony back in. Make you feel really proud, really strong. Keep those shoulders back. And that'll really help keep your back strong, keep your core strong. Beautiful. Feel those thighs burn. Whew. They for sure are burning. Wow. We've got all this extra weight on us, so it's like a weighted plie right now. Good. Keep going. All right. Let's move this chair out of the way. We're coming down to the floor. And we're gonna be in our modified plank pose. So join me here now. Good, hug that baby in. Beautiful. Now, you're gonna practice sinking down a little bit into those shoulders and push out. A little sink and press. So it's not a push up, I'm not bending the elbows at all. I'm just letting my shoulders sink down. And if that's too much, then skip that and just hold your plank here and work on your core. Make sure there's no doming, but rather you're wrapping. Good. These shoulder presses are just a little extra challenge if you wanna check that out and see what that feels like. Good. Nice, okay. Let's come to our side now. So, that got our shoulders moving here. We're going to just be on our knees and elbows, and we're just going to lift up and lower here. So most important, press the floor away, lift and lower. So all too often I see people really just focusing on here, but you gotta really focus here on your shoulder. This is where your stability is coming from. So push into the elbow and then lower from there. Because I want you to feel your lats, your serratus right here. And then of course, wrapping here. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. You could modify here as well with the hand. Okay, take a breather. So we're gonna hold that side plank and in there, I want you to really wrap and think of your shoulders. So wrap your core and think of the shoulder. Here we go. So let's lift it up. We're gonna hold, 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 hold. So you gotta lift those hips up, but you gotta push out of the floor. Now, if you wanna add a little wrap here, you can. A little extra challenge. And reach, good. Inhale, exhale. Good. Inhale, keep that shoulder strong. Exhale. Lots of good shoulder work, core work, side body, obliques, even a little bit of the side glutes. Whew. You feeling this? I for sure am. Wow. Keep those hips up. You can take a break when you need it. You're doing good. Three, two, one. All right. So now you're gonna take this right hand, you're gonna wrap it so that you're grabbing your ribs. 
And then the left hand, now we're gonna work this left hand here. Okay, so left hand presses to the floor. You're gonna press up, lower down. Whew. This is gonna work our triceps. I almost didn't wanna put them in this workout because I didn't wanna do them because they're really hard. Oh man. But I know they're so good for us, so put them in anyways. Good, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Maybe you're doing them a lot faster than me. <laughs> Hopefully you are. I definitely take my time on them. Good, exhale, inhale. Make sure that you're still wrapping your core here. We're still using all those core muscles. And okay. So now we're gonna switch arms, thankfully. You're gonna come on your elbow and your hand and we're gonna lift up from there. So now we're working the other tricep. So I call these mermaid triceps right here. So tap, lift, tap, and lift. Really good way to work those shoulders and triceps. So this is a great full body workout. I really like this one. Sometimes, you know, you just create workouts and you're like, that was a good one. You know, that was really good. It was seamless, they all slowed well. That's how I feel about this one. Good full body. It's a good traveling one if you're somewhere, right? You don't need any equipment. Good one to just pop on during the middle of your day. Especially if you're starting to feel some swelling, you've got to get up and start moving around. You have to, that's your body saying like, okay, it's time. Okay, so now we're gonna do those on the other side. As quickly as you can. Okay, so side. Whew, let's work that left shoulder. Here we go. So we're gonna lift and lower. There's a nice little stretch that happens when you come down, but then I want you to bring it all in together as you come up. So bring it all in and up, good. Think about that left shoulder. Stay wide across the chest. up there, remember, and we're gonna wrap. So last, last three moves right here, and then you are done. So let's set ourselves up, reach up. Make sure that you're really lifting up through the hips, and twist here, and lift, good. that left shoulder work, feel the left serratus and lats work. All right, last two right here. We'll wrap the left hand underneath the right ribs. Press the right hand into the floor and you're still exhaling and hugging. There you go, right there. Steps work. Ooh, this is a really good one. Make sure you're exhaling every time. Exhale, inhale. Good. Also helps you to be able to get up and 
down off the floor. I notice that that's pretty challenging right now, but it's really good to work that so you feel confident doing things like that. All right, here we go. So last move here. Super proud of you for getting all the way through. That you're continuing to take care of yourself. Whew. Whether your schedule is really tight or whatever it is, you're making it happen, right? You gotta stay in control of your schedule. Make it work for you. All right. Oh my goodness. Wow. That felt so good, right? Let's take a couple of stretches here together. So let's take a nice little side bend reach. Ah, release all those muscles. We did a lot of work in the shoulders, lats, side body, abs. We did legs. Ah, good one more time to each side. Reach but just continuing to empower yourself, knowing that you're the one in control of your schedule, right? If you're saying, oh, I don't have time or this and that, you know, ask yourself, why don't you have time? And figure out a way to make time for yourself, good. Because no one else is gonna be able to do it for you, right? You're the only one who can change things around, ask for help, change your circumstances, whatever it may be, right? You never wanna be, subject or controlled by your circumstances. You wanna remember that you're the one in charge of your life. You're the one that's able to change the circumstances, whatever that might be for yourself, right? Always staying empowered and in control. This one feels really good. Remember, I have all of the stretches, the pelvic floor stretches here. All of those amazing relaxing stretches that you can do for yourself. Great job. I'm so happy that you joined me. Comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And if you're looking for that accountability and support all the way through your pregnancy, I have the most amazing bar and Pilates prenatal program inside of my bar definition app that guides you week by week, that helps you strengthen your body, helps you understand your core and pelvic floor for an amazing pregnancy and delivery. So check that out with the link below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.